We now return to Let's Play Space Tyrant. We are in some dire straits now, and I honestly don't think I'm going to win the game. Um, so, we have a few options here. These missions uh, I have so far done well at. They've also been one star. Um, we have the option of going back to a two star. This one I failed at miserably. Uh, so it's really kind of an option here, I guess, to go back to continued fighting uh, amongst these guys. You know, uh, fighting the other rabbits, the other hoplites, that just doesn't seem like it's been going very well for us. Um, so maybe we'll go back to fighting this. Either way, we're going to probably lose ground here, and I don't think I'm at a point where I can catch up. I think that I've lost too many to be able to do that. Um, too many back-to-back. -back. I mean, it's too, too many, but I, I feel like I'm at a point now where if I, I have the wiggle room to lose, um, I'm going to have to win a couple times now, because now, you know, we'll get rid of one, but if we win, there'll be another one added somewhere. And then if we lose, I mean, it's just, I, this is, this is going to be over in a few episodes, but let's go ahead and uh, try it out here. See what we can do. Goal is control. And there are crystals. Obtain victory. Having large amounts of crystals. Playing cards. Okay. So we have two options there. Um, Rave Riot. I do not like the sound of this. This sounds like it's going to be very difficult. We are once again on the back foot here because uh, we just do not have. We're going to be down 20%. Increased tyranny for capturing asteroids or inspiration rate. I feel like maybe that's kind of been hurting me, actually. The inspiration rate, I believe, is when it allows them to reactivate, so having that go a little bit faster would be nice, but uh, we'll just keep this load out because maybe this map will have more asteroids in it? I don't know. It would be nice to be able to see that, but anyway. Neutral allies with the Senate. Moderate Senate attacks. Unrest from agitation at moderate levels on both of these. There are no quirks, however, so maybe we'll be able to actually do this one. Berserk Union rules based on numbers. Okay, so we get our, our little boost there. What do we have? We've got a prison. A prison with um, immediately some some strong units here. Income and decaying. We don't want that. First things first, we go into the shipyard because we need stuff. Kind of need those in the back. But, why don't we do that so we can maybe... Well, they don't have it yet. They don't have that ability just yet. But we don't have any Aegis ability for this guy either, so... I don't know, maybe this will work. Um, okay. So we don't, sadly, have the ability to really do anything. Um, I guess I could use this. Just use it straight up. Conquering this, this is a what? No, fuck me. God damn it. I guess we're conquering this first. Moves all effects from friendly ships. Inspire four of these guys. Utterly devastated here. This didn't work out at all. Alright. Should we guarantee we're gonna get it? Pacifist interlink node. Fuck, that sucks because I now have to backtrack to get to that. That's gonna make that very difficult. I'd hate to waste this already. It's only a three. I do have a pretty good chance of doing it. But I also want to make sure I conquer this so I don't have to waste yet another turn because I've borked it already. Um, but guaranteeing we get this would be better. Ah, screw it. We'll go ahead and just use them. Use all our shit right away. Okay. So I 
would have gotten it, but whatever. Sit, better safe than sorry here. When the flickering crystals of this erratic world, you find a hermit gesturing spastically with a hand covered in crystal piercings. He invites you into the cave. Enter the cave! Four new cards. Well, reduce enemy fleet or get two new frigates to the fleet. And we, we kind of need these anyway. Boy, that that's too bad these guys don't come with their volley ability, but whatever. Uh, and then we got to get rid of some. We will go ahead and get rid of that. And plus five tyranny sounds good, so why don't we get rid of this? We don't need to necessarily explore more. Uh, and here we go. This is undefended, so that'll be a good one. I'll backtrack to here. I could increase my tyranny just for funsies. Um, we can take that, but now the defense is high, because now, of course, I need the damn thing. Nope, well, let's hope for the best. Trade world, that one's of course got a big one. Alright. That's where we need. Oh, let's um, offer the creature lavish quarters. Displeased with your quarters. Okay, well that's fucking great. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. Just take that right now. And then do we go back here? I don't think that's really gonna help me. I'd almost be better off just continuing doing what I'm doing. This sounds like it's gonna be a massive problem here to take this. I probably should have taken the science note, actually. Is it erratic? I could maybe use some of this right now. Just, yeah, I should have. I was gonna go down anyway. Fuck me. Well, okay. I guess that dictates. Teleport fleet back to your home world. Well, it's already there. Um, we're going down here to crush the rebels. I'm willing to bet these guys are going to get on my back right away. Ram enemy ships when low on health, or improve damage. I can go ahead and jump them back now, though. Let's go ahead and use that. It's a waste, but at least now I've skipped another turn, and now I can just go straight to that. We've already lost a lot of control. Play 40 crystals worth of cards. Well, we're on a good start there. Fuck, what? Are you kidding me? Gain three cards for minus two defense. Why don't we go ahead and, and use this preemptively? Use the fucking card! Not that that's gonna help. I, I think we're kinda outclassed here, actually. Move all friendly effects, gain three energy right away, destroy all but a handful of ships on each side. I don't think we're that desperate just yet. So let's do this, that, that. shields. About to lose that one. Does that have a breach on it? is brutally unforgiving. That we can definitely use, though. Count Blobulon released. In a distant cell block, you find a renowned bounty hunter locked away. He begs for freedom. Employ him as a hitman.
happily sets to work. Two new cards. Add two frigates to a fleet. Or, let's just go ahead and use that. Nothing discovered, of course not. A derelict cannon. Ultimate in space warfare, cannon planets can blow up ships from light years away. I mean, that's a no-brainer, right? Sealed in a hardened container festooned with dire warnings, you find a sample of the famed Musashi Serum. The serum is rumored to grant great power in battle at the cost of destabilizing the receiver's mind. Run computer models. No data. Of course not. Playing it safe, the serum is processed through several computational models, but never used directly. Okay, well, I, um, I feel okay about that. That is a space monster. I feel we will leave the space monster alone. Will it leave me alone? That's something else entirely. Um, so we can use some money to do shipyards. We'll hit 200 soon. We need to be capturing more of the money worlds, though. So, what do I do? See, really, this is the fleet that we should be filling to go continue here. What? We've already got a Count Blobulon. We just freed Count Blobulon. In fact, that is the the pilot of this one. Give me a break, game. Come on. Well. I mean, I could send this one off this way and just keep coming this way anticipating getting enough money to then hire one and come back. I think maybe that's the way to go, because otherwise what's going to happen is we are going to... Does that work on... Uh, I doubt that works on space monsters. Um, otherwise what's going to happen is we're going to waste time going back to, to get these. Now, agitators, I imagine, means a fleet is going to come and they're going to blah blah blah. But I'm expecting within the two turns I can just make a fleet. I mean, it won't be two turns, actually. But if we conquer a city here, it'll be damn close. Power unusable. So, that was a complete waste of time, then. Let's go ahead and just use this up. Reduce the, uh, the power there. Um... I, again, I really don't want to use this up just yet. I don't think I'm going to have a choice, though. I probably should actually use this, too. <laughs> should have used that first and then hit the minus 10%. But... Two unrest a turn, allied with the Senate. Were they not already allied with the Senate? Secret police, three defense to a planet you control. I feel like backlogging that would be good. Actually, this is a pretty decent choke point. What does that mean? Danger? He's going to attack? Or... I mean, we can, we can preemptively add two to this. And then I can at least save myself the trouble of... I, do we need to stop this? Increases empire unrest. I feel like we do. We're not going to be able to hire this in time. It's going to take two turns. I'm going to be over there anyway. So I could maybe shoot one down to get to that. God, this is now actually becoming very difficult for me to... Um, to second guess what I should be doing. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time here, but... Again, it's going to be two turns before I even get there. And who knows what this agitators thing is going to do for me. By the time I get there, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to stop whatever that is. I definitely need to stop the deploy militia thing, though. That is absolutely number one. So why don't we just go move first. And we'll see what we can do here. Heal one ship, 50%. Fighters are 50% stronger for 10 seconds. Remove all friendly effects from friendly ships. Oh, fuck. These guys are backwards. That doesn't help me.
Oh, I'm being a dumbass. That doesn't do me any fucking good. See, the the terminology this game uses are also is also pretty bad um, because these little ships are frigates. Wow, I got my ass handed to me. These guys are way overpowered. Fighters come from the damn carriers. They are not the actual ships. See, when I think frigate, I think, like, something a little bit bigger. And, I don't know, it's... Well, there goes that. So, we've already lost. <laughs> I can just tell you that right now. So let's not even fuck around with this. Let's just, uh... Continue on. Um, I, whatever. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna not gonna waste my money. We're already trying this hard enough as it is. Um, may as well just waste this, so that we can prevent anything from being conquered there if that militia does make its way out. Saw that coming. Our first experience with the space monster. You clearly are not able to do this without large fleets. I mean, it, I, I think this kind of shows you what it expects you to have. To be honest. I'm not even halfway on this. Okay. Fortunately, we can just go straight to it. That's helpful. I'll hire myself another one on the next turn. There's really no point in doing this. We're about to be consumed by this anyhow. Can't afford anything. We're not going to make it there, so... And we've lost, so... I would have lost anyway. My fleet would not have been able to take that on. This was level 3? I'm not sure why we keep playing through this bullshit. Requires a friendly lab. Okay, well, we don't have that. Okay, I mean, let's just throw everything we got at this.
guess that's great. That's not so great. This is ridiculous. Because I didn't conquer this? Because it was just under rebellion? There, there's no way to win this. Stasis, so it's pointless. I think we'll actually use this to, uh, well, let's go ahead and invade. I think the home world will be attacked next. Ion storms sweep through the system. The fleet cannot avoid it. Psionic Sense 2, sense your way through it. Sensors are blinded, but psionics are not, allowing you to safely exit. Good. Um, should we oppress and then flip them back to the home world? Did... Oh, fuck. That was not the same thing. It's the same graphic as the one that allowed me to zip back, but it's not the same thing as... <sighs> one of the one of the many flaws of this game, actually. Fuck it, let's do it. It looks like we exploded, because of course we did.
Yeah, we can't we can't take on the battleship. There's just no way. I could slam into it again, but that's really not gonna help me. I don't see why I haven't lost yet. There we go. I was really kind of hoping I was just going to finish it. Well, <clears throat> I guess we can just finish this off by actually losing and seeing what it does. Um, there's absolutely no way I can win at this point, I'm pretty convinced. Um, so, I mean, we can just go through this on the next turn, or in the next episode, and, and see what we can do. But, um, I mean, we may as well just do that, right? I'll end this one here, I'll see you next time.